breakfast spot. We found a local Taiwanese shop that crafts local breakfasts, so we're gonna give it a try. Again, like yesterday with the noodle shop, the menu is in Chinese, so we're gonna try to wing it. We're watching them make the pastries from scratch, so it's pretty interesting. If you see over here, he's cutting the dough. No idea what he's gonna make it into. I'm starving, and uh, Miho has done a good job of choosing all of the restaurants and all the places for us to eat, so I'm excited to uh, get number two. We ordered a Taiwanese breakfast, and we just got this salty soybean milk, but it looks like a soup, and he recommended that we put some spicy oil into it, so we're gonna try that. This is very popular in Hong Kong, where I'm from as well, and this is like a rice dumpling with inside the a donut, a Chinese salty donut. And this is supposed to be really popular. If you see right here, it's like a sandwich filled with, I don't know, like fried bread. It's supposed to be the most popular here. And then we got a little omelette. And we got two beverages. One um, bean milk, and the other one is, Soy, I don't know. No, it's milk bean. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I you just remember, yeah, you just flipped the words. Anyways, one's brown and one's white. Okay. So we'll give it a try and see how it goes. So Miho did a lot of research into this, and uh, thankfully she did because she picked out one, two, three, four, five, and I picked out this puny little shit. <laughs> I shouldn't be in charge of this anymore. <laughs> We just hit Paradise. This is one of my favorite spots we've hit so far. It's so hard to say because everything has been beautiful, but oh my god. Yeah, check out behind us, Paradise. If you look Par at that, oh, never mind, we passed. Oh no, oh, sorry, this way, Paradise. <laughs> it's like, what's over there? <laughs> look at the blue seas, and there are people parachuting on the right, right there. We're checking with our driver right here if we can schedule Paradise in for today. And that'll be That's actually really very fun. exciting. I, it's something I've always wanted to do. It's too bad that we wouldn't be able to go on the same parachute. No, I'm fine with that. What, don't I want don't trust him with me? in the same parachute. Why not? Comment if you trust him to be on the same parachute. Oh my god. It'll only be you and I commenting. And I'd be like, I agree. Yes, <laughs> I trust. <laughs> but look at the waves. Oh my god, it's, it's really big. I mean, it must be high tide right now. It's really beautiful. The blue skies, the blue seas. If you look at the sea line or whatever that's called, the horizon, it's like the sky and the sea are like two different shades of oran of orange. Orange. I'm good. I'm orange. Yeah. Okay, maybe a little. You know what I mean. Okay, so we're hang gliding. Yeah, this is happening. Oh shit. So we're actually on our way to the Geo Park to check out these rock sculptures and once we got to the coastline seeing the oceans we were so amazed then our driver pointed upwards we looked up and we see all these uh, I guess like hang gliders or paragliders I don't really know uh, the exact terminology but uh, no, so I gotta go confirm prices over here <laughs> David, smile. And he's off. And now I'm going. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh shit. To the Shifen waterfall. It's actually really cool over here with the water just spraying all over the place. We have some shade and it's just, you know, it's nice to get out of the sun. We made it to uh, Shifen Old Street and this is the first thing we got. 
uh, Miho ordered it first. So what is it? It's um, no idea. <laughs> Grilled chicken, and it looks like they have rice and Taiwanese sausage <laughs> stuffed really? inside. It's chicken and Taiwanese sausage? It looks like it. Oh, damn. Oh, what to us. And this is what it looks like. And if you can see there, that one's rocking back and forth so much. Oh, yeah. It's like sky lanterns all over the place above us. <laughs> Yeah. We're waiting for it to hit dark so we can hopefully release our own. Yes, but yeah. the typhoon is coming, so we don't know which one's gonna come first. Oh, true. Okay, we'll I'll have to make some decisions soon. Mia's so happy now that she got this ice cream wrap thing. So good. So it's right behind us, actually. I actually think it's Korean. It has a Korean name. Oh yeah. Oh. Just missed it. Oh. Look how close the train is to us. That's so scary. Everyone's flying lanterns and there's a train. Yeah. An actual train running. Mm -hmm. Let's just hang out here for a second. It's beautiful. Oh, hey up. <laughs> Got a few steps in there. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Sideways. Where's the camera? All right. Oh, oh. So we just got this one which is blessed and happy, meaning is health, hope, career, and love. So it either flies or it doesn't, and it burns to the ground. So if you see, we got yellow, which is career or schoolwork. And then we have blue, hope and dream. Hope White, and dreams. on the other side, which is health and safety. They should have probably gotten a foreigner to correct their English. <laughs> and they got pink, which is happiness and love. Oh wow. Oh wow. Make it go. Go, go, go. Go. Oh! Which one? Which one? The one over there. I'm glad I had that experience with you. First Sky Lantern experience. You've never done it before? I've never done it. For me, first Sky Lantern. Now we've arrived at Xilin Night Market, which is one of the famous night markets in Taipei. The most famous. Most night famous. Taipei. The entrance is a little more subtle. Then the Rauha night market, but apparently this is the most popular. We got four? Oh. Smell test? Oh my oh, god. Wow. Okay. That was okay. worth the lineup. I've actually never, I would never normally line up for something wrapped, like bacon wrapped with leeks, but the smell is so good. We just ate too thick. That was in the asparagus or the, the, the thing we just ate. That's what kept it together. We didn't realize and we were chewing our... We were just looking at each other like, what is going There's on? Some, like we were like selling each other telepathic messages and we were just thinking the same thing. We saw this noodle shop. We saw all these people eating and we couldn't resist but coming and grab some. It looks so good. To be honest, I have no idea what's on the inside. No but idea. anything with soup and noodles for me yeah, does yeah. the deal. And the texture looks pretty interesting. It's it's it kind of reminds me of like a sweet and sour soup. Mm -hmm. We shall see. Pretty fresh too, and that's the stall over there. Pretty small stall. And it's a pretty big lineup. Mm -hmm. Very not cheap. Lineup, but it's quite busy. Very cheap. 50 NTD, which is about two bucks for, for this bowl. bowl. Yeah. That's hot. How's it? Oh my god, it's really so good. good. Oh, so wow. good. Uh, okay, okay, okay. It's it's not sour, it's, but it's really good. My baby went absolutely crazy <laughs> and decided to get two desserts and we are actually pretty full. And you know what like, they're, they're, Speak for yourself. They're fairly cheap, but like look at this craziness. Yesterday we had trouble finishing one and now we have two. Wait, wait, who said we had trouble finishing one? Okay, okay, we did have trouble finishing one, but I feel like one was enough for us. 
Well, the reason why I decided to also get the strawberry was because our driver, Calvin, said his daughter's favorite was the strawberry. And the strawberry is not normally in the stores because it's out of season, but we saw it in the menu, so we should try it while we're here.